In the vast expanse of our life's journey, we come across a fundamental concept that holds immense significance, the balance between solitude and companionship. When we seek quick and fleeting adventures, solitude calls to us, inviting us to explore with unencumbered steps. But when the path ahead stretches long and challenging, the allure of companionship beckons us to walk together, united by a shared purpose. Yet amidst this contemplation, a profound question arises. Who accompanies us on our odyssey? The answer carries great weight, for not all company is beneficial. Sometimes togetherness can become burdensome. Thus, we are reminded of a fundamental truth in the grand tapestry of existence. We enter this world alone, and likewise we shall depart in solitude. Embracing the art of being alone, finding solace in our own company, is a skill of immense value. Only when we learn to cherish our moments of solitude can we truly understand the harmony of togetherness. You see, as human beings, we possess a unique quality, the ability to simply be, without the compulsive need for constant action. Our consciousness grants us the wisdom to act with purpose and discernment, setting us apart from creatures driven solely by instinct. However, when people come together, the dynamics shift, and the currents of compulsive action often surge. Associations are formed where a collective purpose guides the group, or individuals unite under a more distinct purpose. Alternatively, in a crowd, the current of compulsion can sweep us away, engulfing our individual thoughts. To reach our full potential as human beings, we must embrace the ability to sit in stillness, to contemplate, and simply be. This is an individual endeavor, even when we unite as a plural entity. Each member of the collective remains an indivisible entity united in the oneness of their being. Each of us is a unique masterpiece woven from the threads of our experiences, beliefs, and aspirations. It is in these moments of aloneness that we paint the canvas of our existence with vivid colors, shaping our identity. First, we need to understand the essence of being alone, a transformative path that leads to conscious evolution. In a world bustling with connections and interactions, the art of being alone may seem counterintuitive, yet it is in these solitary moments that we embark on a voyage of self-discovery. To be alone is not a mere isolation, but a sacred communion with the self. It is a choice to detach from the clamor of external influences and plunge into the depths of your own thoughts and emotions. It's here in the sanctuary of solitude, you find the mirror that reflects your true essence. In the embrace of solitude, we encounter the wisdom to perceive life's panorama with newfound clarity. For amidst the noise of the world, we often lose sight of our true purpose and direction. But in the stillness of being alone, the noise recedes, allowing us to hear the subtle whispers of our soul. It is in the crucible of solitude that we can plant the seeds of self-reflection, nurturing them with patience and compassion. As we water the garden of our thoughts and nurture the roots of our emotions, we cultivate a profound connection with our innermost selves. Thus, the concept of being alone invites us to explore the depths of our being, uncovering the essence that sets us apart as human beings. This act of being alone with oneself is not an escape from reality, but rather a pilgrimage to the core of our existence. Peeling away the layers of masks and pretenses is a deliberate choice, allowing us to delve into the depths of our complexities and vulnerabilities. As we set forth on this journey, we gain a deeper understanding of our experiences, emotions, and dreams. This newfound awareness leads us to explore the intricacies of our thoughts and feelings, unveiling profound insights. In moments of self-reflection, clarity washes over us like a serene lake mirroring the brilliance of the stars above. We start to decipher the patterns that shape our actions, the origins of our fears, and the dreams that ignite our spirits. Through introspection, we unearth the seeds of personal growth that lie dormant within us. Recognizing that we are both the artist and the masterpiece, the architect of our fate and the clay to be sculpted, we embrace the journey of self-improvement with patience and kindness. Tending to the garden of our minds, we weed out self-doubt and nurture self-love to bloom. In the quiet moments of solitude, the symphony of personal growth crescendos. Like a butterfly breaking free from its cocoon, we cast off the shackles of the past and soar towards new horizons. In today's fast-paced world, solitude may seem daunting, 
The allure of constant external stimuli and the fear of facing our innermost thoughts may drive us to seek refuge in the distractions of the outside world. Yet why not seek solace within ourselves? Embracing solitude means being brave enough to confront our true selves, stripped of societal masks and external validations, fully present in the moment. It calls upon us to recognize our vulnerabilities and strengths, our dreams and fears, and the range of emotions that influence our perspectives. In the midst of this quietness, we rediscover the wisdom that lies dormant within us, the wisdom to understand that genuine growth comes from embracing our imperfections, not from trying to hide them. The beauty of self-improvement lies in accepting that we are a work in progress, continuously evolving and growing. On this path, we come to realize that it's not about striving for perfection, but rather, it's about recognizing and nurturing the divine spark that resides within us. This spark, buried beneath layers of conditioning and societal pressures, holds the key to unlocking our true potential. This is why being alone isn't synonymous with loneliness. It's an act of self-love and self-compassion. In this solitude, we become our own greatest supporter, our own confidant, and our own motivator. We learn to treat ourselves with kindness, forgiving our missteps and celebrating our achievements. We also gather the courage to face the shadows that linger within us, the insecurities, doubts, and fears. These shadows, like dark clouds in the sky, obscure the brilliance of our authentic selves. But as we shine the light of awareness upon them, we realize they are mere illusions, fleeting and powerless in the presence of our inner strength. Embracing solitude allows us to recognize our interconnectedness with the world. We comprehend that our personal growth is intricately linked with the growth of the collective. By nurturing our individual selves, we contribute to the collective consciousness, creating a ripple effect of positive change in the world around us. Amidst the chaos of the external world, silence becomes a sacred pause, a moment of connection with the universe. In the tranquility of silence, we listen to the echoes of our heartbeats, the whispers of our soul, and the universal rhythms that connect us all. Here we discover the freedom to dream and imagine a life that resonates with our deepest desires. By shedding the constraints of external expectations, we embrace the infinite possibilities that await us. Within this sacred realm of creation, we come to understand that we are the artists of our own destiny. Through nurturing a profound connection with ourselves, we become more genuine and present in our interactions with others. By engaging in relationships from a place of self-awareness, we forge bonds founded on honesty, empathy, and respect. Although solitude may initially seem incompatible with the pursuit of meaningful connections, it is through moments of solitude that we unlock the door to authentic relationships. As we develop emotional intelligence, we gain the ability to comprehend and empathize with our own emotions and those of others. Emotional intelligence acts as a conduit that links us to the hearts of others, fostering genuine connections rooted in compassion and understanding. This transparent and sincere communication establishes a secure environment for vulnerability and trust to blossom. Thus, these solitary moments serve as a pause, a period of introspection that enriches our subsequent connections with others. It is during this pause that we acquire the clarity to discern the relationships that nurture our spirits and align with our principles. Being alone allows us to recognize when a relationship may not be beneficial for our personal growth and well-being. As we come to the end of this profound journey, Let's take a moment to reflect on the wisdom that has unfolded before us. Being alone is not about isolating ourselves, but rather a conscious decision to explore the depths of our true selves and understand who we really are. It's about embracing our uniqueness, nurturing self-love, and showing compassion towards others. Through this voyage of self-discovery, we become beacons of inspiration, sparking positive change in the lives of those around us. So embrace the power of solitude as a sacred pilgrimage to your innermost being, because by understanding and loving yourself, you unlock the key to understanding and loving others. And remember, it is through the practice of being alone that we are guided towards self-realization, awakening to the profound interconnectedness of all life. So my dear friend, if this video resonated with you, I encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel. 
share this video with your loved ones who may find value in its message. And don't forget to leave a comment below, sharing your thoughts and experiences. Thank you for watching.